Hi, Louie. Hi. So I was wondering if you could tell us that story about one of the beginnings of, of Gubbio Project. Well, St. Boniface had always had people coming in here. It's a, the area that it's in in the Tenderloin are poor people and home, lots of homeless people. So people would come in and maybe sit in the pews. And I remember when I came into the pastor's office looking in the files, I found a policy. And the policy was that we welcome people to come, but they had to be sitting up and attending to the services, etc., in the church. Well, the services only go on for about a half an hour, twice a day, something like that. But they had to be sitting up and, and appearing to be praying. But I remembered how I used to travel through Denver, uh, going to the committee meetings for the Campaign for Human Development. And I had to lay over in the middle of the night. And so I found the chapel there and I went in. And by gosh, there was that same policy that it said that, uh, you know, uh, people were welcome to be there, but they please don't lie down in the pews. Well, it was about two in the morning. There was nobody else in there. I kind of looked around, so finally I had a little, you know, a little meeting with Jesus about that. And, uh, you know, Jesus, do you really mind if I lie down on the, you know, on the bench here and get a little sleep? I need it because I'm going over, getting ready for this big meeting in Washington to give money to the poor and all of that, and I want to be sharp. And do you mind if I lie down and sleep? And Jesus gave me permission, said it was okay. So then when I came here and I saw this policy, I thought, well, Jesus gave me permission to sleep in the church. How can I deny it to other people who really belong to this parish here? So we did. And they came up with the name Sacred Sleep. And sometimes I've had people, I went out to a, a fire down the street here one time and a fellow started talking to me about, I really like your talks that you give during, when you're doing church, you know, and they really, I really get a lot out of those. I kept looking at him, and I didn't recognize him. I didn't remember ever seeing him. I thought, he's just making that up. He says, I know you probably don't ever notice me because I'm lying down on the pew, but I've listened to all your talks, and they mean a lot to me. So uh, it, it seems to me that sacred sleep works. I think that's something that comes from God. People need it. God wants us to do it. Thank you, Louis.